Images have emerged on social media purporting to show U.S. servicemen speaking out against a looming strike against Damascus. People in military dress are seen posing in front of cameras with signs saying that they didn't uh, sign up to fight with al-Qaeda in Syria. These pictures cannot be verified. The Pentagon is reportedly looking into the possible identities of those involved. For some perspective on that, I'm joined by Gordon Duff, a Marine Corps veteran and editor of the independent news website Veterans Today. Thanks for joining us. So how likely do you think it is that these images portray people who genuinely serve in the U.S. military? Well, since we have uh, somewhere between the polls estimate 50 to 70 percent of Americans are clearly opposed to operations uh, against Syria and members of the military, uh, particularly lost 5,000 killed fighting the same groups in Iraq that we're advocating that we support in Syria. So members of the military from either side, and there are clear divisions in the military, both the left and the right, none of them have any reason to want to support Syrian rebels. As for those people we're seeing, the, uh, I have no more verification than you do. The uniforms and medals look legitimate. We hear a lot of feeling about this from the military. And uh, there have been some very strong opinions from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey, that he is strongly opposed toward military action in Syria. As a former Marine yourself, can you gauge the mood for us about the military personnel uh, and uh, what they're saying about the potential intervention in Syria, if you have any sense of that? Uh, by this time, 13 years of war, uh, people in the military have no faith in anything the government has to say at all. They're sick and tired of the war, and uh, the government has no credibility with the rank and file in the military. What do you make of the fact that Washington is backing Syrian rebels who are fighting alongside militant groups, some of them linked to al-Qaeda? You know, it's something that we are noticing every single day. We look in Washington and we're finding that uh, Washington, especially the statements by Secretary Kerry, are increasingly divorced from reality. Uh, when we see the blood enemies of President Obama, and that's Senators McCain and Senators uh, Graham, invited to the White House uh, to visit a, pre a president that they have long criticized and even hate, uh, we call this a problem, this problem strange bedfellows, and this is what this is, has brought about. It's Pres desperation. President Obama says he wants a narrow and limited action, though. If the U.S. goes ahead, uh, is there danger, do you think, of mission creep? You know, Brzezinski was talking about that today, that uh, the idea of a limited action will make the U.S. look weak. A major action will destabilize Afghanistan and put a uh, jihadist, anti-American government in place. Uh, President uh, Obama has gotten himself uh, painted into a corner. There is no way out. Mission creep is, the, is in the cards exactly as you predict. Uh, the U.S. is continuing to boost its military presence near Syria. Do you think that indicates that among lawmakers there may be a desire for an intervention? Well, among lawmakers in particular, Rand Paul uh, on the Republican side, a senator with tremendous backing in the Tea Party, has called the, uh, the uh, uh, attack in Syria a false flag. On the Democratic side, uh, Alan Grayson, uh, highly influential and uh, certainly a major uh, player in the APAC lobby, has said exactly the same thing. Uh, even Henry Waxman has, uh, has come out. So the president's support on either side of the aisle is very weak. Gordon Duff, Marine Corps veteran, editor of the independent news website Veterans Today, thanks for your time. You're welcome.